So it's your boy Downsize and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. So Loose Cannon goes on no jumper and is alleging that or insinuating the big U is a snitch yet and still no one has produced paperwork. Now, as it pertains to the program, this police, whatever program that he's involved in, there has been other notable, reputable people from the land who are part of that program who have actually spoken to the details of what that program entails. Now, they're conflating a whole bunch of issues to make it appear as if Big U's doing something. Now, did he or did he not? I don't know. There's no paperwork. There's no proof. It's all speculation and innuendo based on a bunch of females who appear to be scorned. That's what we have here. We have a whole bunch of people who are scorned by the facts. No, it's about the fact that, that you were getting God for money, little buddy. And you were getting God for the reputation, little buddy, because you're a little homie. You forget that he earned those stripes already. You forgot your place and all that. Now, is, 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 is Big U uh, uh, capable of getting food, homies for money and uh, uh, backdooring foods and everything else? And, you know, is, is he cutthroat? Of course he is. Couldn't got to couldn't got to such notoriety and notability without it. Obviously. Obviously, he made a, a, a name for himself wherever he's been. His, his reputation precedes him. So now after the fact, someone feeling feeling scorned wants to come out and make all these allegations based on speculation. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. That shit sounds foul as fuck. But it don't lead to a logical conclusion. It just leads to more questions. So what proof is there that he did what you said he did? Still your word against his with whack 100 in the middle who has no credibility. So everybody he brings to the table lacks that credibility. Unless you can bring something concrete to the table, which has not been done. All that's been brought to the table is a conflation of all the issues. Conflating means you're like mixing them all in a pot like gumbo. You're conflating them. You're making it appear as if all of those pieces to the puzzle complete a picture, but it don't. It's all speculative. Yeah, it'll make people not want to fuck with them or whatever to a certain extent. Yeah. But then again, there's there's allegations and proof that Adam 16 did what he did with them children, with them 16 years old. But is that stopping anybody from going there and, and making a show and, and making a fool of themselves like these fools are doing? This, this character seems way too excited to be there. He's like leaking on himself. This is what they do in front of Adam. So excited to be there. Finally made it. Oh, everybody knows who you are now. You may have been known there, but now it's, it's renowned only because of Big U. Because you're trolling Big U. But what does it say about you when you never took it to him? Oh, you're taking it to the world. You're coming out here trying to act all tough like your reputation means something. You, see, you appear to be scared if you couldn't bring it up to him. Don't try to act tough online. You're, you're, you're an online gangster. You're, all, you're, you're, you're banging online. That's all you're doing is net banging. Because you know where he's at and none of this ever had to come out about Big U. Every last one of them from his neighborhood could have took it to him personally, but did you? No. So what does it say about you? What does it say about yourselves? 
Not about neighborhood rolling 60s or Big U or anyone else. What does it say about those who are chicken shit, scared, and won't go over there and deal with him like a man? Your gangsters what if you can't go meet him? You, you claim that he did all that to you. So what do you want everyone else to do about it? What he did to you? Little scary cat? Go do something about what he did to you. Why are you going on, on online and making a daytime soap opera drama of this? Why are you fools ratting and exposing all this stuff online? Sitting there talking about all this criminal activity you did with him? Snitching online, but you want to call him a snitch while you're snitching. Do you not get that for yourself? It's all projecting smoke and mirrors to conceal the fact that these dudes are the ones who are actually doing it. And for who? Adam 16? Why does everyone call him Adam 16 while you're going over there all super excited, leaking on yourself about it? One after another, they go over there and make a show, make a fool of themselves. And for what? What did you prove? What did you prove that you're an outcast in your own neighborhood? You can't go there. You're scared. You got to hide out with other people who can't go to their neighborhoods like Wack 100. He's not welcome in his own. He ain't from Paru. He ain't no blood. It's like you ain't a crip from the 60s until you can go there and meet those that want to meet, meet you and those that you got so much shit to say about them. You ain't gangster if you can't go take that to that man. You go take it to the media. You might as well have just took it to the police. Because that's what you did, in fact. They now know too. So what? So what? So what? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about Big U? Instead of crying online about him. What he did to you. What he's doing to you guys. None of you. Who says he did something to you. Have yet to do anything yourselves about him. Except cry online and try to get everybody else to do it. Snakes, fakes, phonies, fraudulent fools. And I'm going to leave you with that. Peace. And I'm out.